I showed you guys everything. I showed you guys my upsell. We scaled this one store, one product to $34,000. Hey guys, what's up? This is episode two, and in this video, if you guys watch the very end, we go over the creation of the store, the making of the logo, and we actually go ahead and set up our account on Shopify, and I take you guys through the back end and show you guys all the settings and things that you wanna set up before you get started. Before we get started, let's announce last video's winners for thousand dollars worth of courses or consulting call. The winner's here. If you guys wanna qualify, all you have to do is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, let's get right into the video. So first thing first, what I do is I go ahead and put the video onto Final Cut Pro and why I do that is because I want to go ahead and get a high quality screenshot of one of the frames really showing off the watch beautifully. So as you can see, I get a PNG file of that exact screenshot and time frame. Um, another way if you don't have an editing software, you could just sort of do a screenshot using snipping tool or your computer sort of screen share software. Um, but yeah, that's exactly what I do. And then I save the image I then go ahead and open it up on Photoshop because this is going to be the image that's going to be the first thing you see on my Shopify store homepage. And as you can see, I use a patch tool to blur out that logo. Um, it's as simple as that. And that's how you go ahead and make a cover photo for your one product store. And it looks brand new. It looks like there wasn't even a logo to begin with. The patch tool is so powerful. So you definitely want to get it. Photoshop. Definitely worth it. Um, you no longer have to pay like two, three, four hundred dollars for it. They do like a monthly sort of subscription. You pay like thirty dollars a month, or you could even just install the free trial and do exactly this. And the reason why I needed to crop out and create a version without the AliExpress logo is because I needed to do this. I needed to basically create an edit where the logo wasn't there. So you can't really use the patch tool on a video. So what I did was I layered the new version where I used the patch tool to sort of make the logo on the top right hand corner disappear. And as a result, um, I cropped it. You should rewatch this video on slow motion to see how I did it. But basically I removed the logo from this video by layering the patch tooled version on top of the original version cropping it back and just sort of covering the logo. And I showed you guys the whole process. That's the thing about this series. I'm literally showing you guys everything, every single step of the way. Now, if you guys want the raw versions of these recordings that you're seeing right now on the screen, they're in the description below. They're basically free, like I'm, I'm upselling it for hella cheap. Um, and this is just for those who want the raw footage that isn't fast forwarded or cutted. So here's a video, I then go ahead and export it. Very simple 24 second video, the exact same video that I found on AliExpress. Now I'm rendering the video. The rendering finished. So I then go ahead and upload the video onto Vimeo. And the reason why I want to do that is because using the one product store, I want the home page, that first wallpaper panel you see when you go to 360glide.com to be a video of our product. Now if you sort of use a YouTube link, um, you know, you get like a red play button, it's not as nice. So uploading my video onto Vimeo, which I'll attach to my Shopify theme, is just much more cleaner. So while I'm waiting for the video to upload on Vimeo, as you can see, it's at 10%. I want to sort of multitask. I went ahead and go to the app store on my store and I'll be showing you guys the app I use. I literally use like under five apps. I don't know why people keep it complicated. They have just like 10, 20 apps, especially when you're starting, keep it as simple as possible. So all I install is Oberlo. So I search Oberlo, add app. And this is the easiest way to install it. A lot of people keep it complicated and they search Oberlo on Google and they sort of have to like link it together. You just want to go to your app store and then install Oberlo through the Shopify app store. That's the fastest way. So I install. As you can see, I'm trying to multitask. I'm trying to set up my settings as well as install Oberlo while uploading Vimeo. And that's sort of how I sort of did this over like a period of three, four hours. I think it literally took me three to four hours to set up this one product store that ended up making 30 grand. This is sort of the secret on how I did it. I just multitask a lot. So I'm gonna be showing you while we're waiting for Oberlo and Vimeo to set up, me setting up my payment processor. Um, now we're back to Oberlo. It's officially linked up, so Oberlo's finished. 
I want to just set up my payment methods. I'm going to start with Shopify payments. I'm going to add in currencies. I want to start with US dollars because that's you want to use everyone that's doing dropshipping. Have your store in US. And then with the new Shopify payment setting, you could actually put in a bunch of different countries that it would automatically translate depending on the country. So if the person's from Canada, Shopify payments will actually translate the currency into Canadian dollars. So Shopify payments is very powerful now. The statement, put in 360glide.com. So when people purchase, this is what they see, 360glide, because that's the name of our store. Payouts, I want it every business day. Fraud protection, you do want to decline charges that fail with CVV. Verification, customer billing statement, 360 Glide. Phone number, I just sort of put in something random to start with and then I replace it with a Google Voice number. Um, so that's definitely what, something you want to do as well. But that is Shopify payment setup. I brought you guys through the whole process. Select all the currencies, check all the boxes. Um, the more options you check, uh, it's, it's better for the customer because you want them to have more options. You want them to be able to pay with Shopify Pay, Apple Pay, American Express. You want them to be able to check out in their own currency and that's why I literally checked every single available option. Okay, now we go back to payments. Complete account setup. Now, as you can see, Vimeo's finished uploading. So I'm gonna pause with the setup. I'm gonna go back to my theme. I'm gonna upload the Vimeo link into the home page video. See, I'm just multitasking. And you don't want to make a store over a week. You want to be able to get it done in a few hours and this is exactly how. I go ahead and paste the video link. I think I have to remove the HTTPS. See if that works. Nope, I selected the wrong link. So let me go ahead and open this in a new tab. Go back. While I'm waiting for that to load, I'm gonna go ahead and install the Oberlo Chrome app. So I have that loading. Now I'm back to my Shopify payment settings. Um, I'm just double checking everything. Um, now the link should be finished. So I'm trying to find the URL link, copy link. Yep, I think that's the link, that, that's the direct link to the video I just uploaded on Vimeo. But I'm just gonna be safe and go back to home. Go to my videos on Vimeo. There's a video, copy link. video link go back to my Shopify store now I can link that in yep now it's working perfect it's now showing now I'm gonna save actually I'm gonna wait for this to load but while I'm waiting I'm opening up dark font so I'm actually going to go ahead and create my logo right now hopefully this isn't too overwhelming that I'm doing like three four five things at once but this is the realest example you're going to get this is raw footage of me setting up my store and I do everything like this is the realest it's going to get this isn't like a step-by-step -step guide this is a real case study where you're following me behind my shoulder but you want to go to dafont.com amazing place to create your logo completely for free I put in a preview called 360 glide follow the video to see how I got to this page submit and now I can see a bunch of different fonts with 360 glide so now I'm just scrolling down finding logos and fonts that would fit what I think would look best for my store so that one looked pretty good so I clicked on that one go to page two and like this site is so amazing like the fact I can put in 360 glide and have it change every single font into 360 glide is just amazing like dove font is where to go if you want to make an amazing beautiful free logo that's just text um, but i have other strategies that you can definitely check out in my youtube channel below i opened up the product on aliexpress and i'm looking at it so i'm looking at it because i want to get a feel of what type of logo would match the product so that's why i went ahead and looked at the aliexpress version and i'm opening up all the fonts that i like and i think might work in a new tab so i could sort of cross check them and sort of a b test which are i'm better and every time i find another one i like i split test it with the current tab i have open and then if the new one's better i cross the old one if the old one's still better i cross the new one so i'm scrolling because i'm not happy yet i still think there could be one that's more perfect
and then I keep with Geo Sans Lite. This is the one that I like. And then I go ahead and I decide that this is perfect. And if you look at it, very clean logo. And that was the perfect logo for my product. I download the font and I install the font. So I then go ahead and install the font. And now I'm opening up Photoshop to go ahead and create my logo. Just because when I went on my store theme, the first thing I needed to upload was my store logo. And that's what triggered me to go ahead and create my logo. While I'm doing that, I want to install Oberlo. Was successfully able to install the app. Just needed to sign in. While I'm waiting for that, I'm then creating my 360 Glide logo right now. And yeah, that's part two. In tomorrow's video, what we're going to do is I'm be taking you guys through the whole editing process on how I went ahead and create the perfect logo for my store. And I'll be showing you my whole design and thought process and everything step by step. So be sure to watch that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far and getting a real overlook on how a six figure e-commerce dropshipper sets up his Shopify store. This is over the shoulder. You're literally seeing me like do five things at once and you are sort of learning. And this is the exact same thing I wish I was able to see. I wish I was able to look at all those big YouTubers like Alex Becker, Dana Silva, and watch them screen record their screen and watch them do things and like their workflow. That's exactly this series. And you know what the kicker is? You're gonna see me make $30,000 in 30 days. So be sure to watch the whole series. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment below. I'll be picking the best comment for the competition every single video. Other than that, hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Peace. As you can see, it perfectly matches the name 360 Glide. So we've got 360glide.com, we've got the logo. Now we've got the actual 360 compass around the name of our store. So everything's slowly coming together. I'm just sort of expanding it because I want the 360 glide text to be within this circle compass.